Hello, Mr. Oh, sorry, one second. Hello, oh, there we go. Had to turn the volume up. Mr. Zonker here, and this video is on the volume of cylinders, cones, and spheres. First, a quick review of some things you've seen before. Volume is a measurement of the amount of space inside of a 3D figure. A radius is a line segment from the center of a circle to the edge. The diameter, on the other hand, is the segment across the entire circle through the center. The radius is always half of the diameter. And lastly, pi. That's the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diam diameter. We approximate it usually at 3.14, although it's irrational, so it goes on and on forever. And we use this symbol to represent pi. Here are the volume formulas we've been talking a little bit about in class, and it is a good idea to kind of know these, especially the cylinder, because it's the area of a base times the height, the pi r squared h. Uh, but these aren't too tough to remember if you remember those relationships. For example, th uh, three cones equal one cylinder, so the volume is one third of the cylinder formula. Also, we know two cones equals a sphere when the radius, uh, when the height is two times the radius, or the, or the same height of the sphere. Uh, etc, etc. But I'm going to leave you with those formulas for now. Let's do a few quick examples. Here we want to find the volume. For example one, we have a cylinder. Looks like the radius is 6 and the height is 11. So we're going to identify those. We know our formula for a cylinder is pi r squared h. That would be pi times the radius squared times the height. And uh, when we calculate that out, we always want to square that 6 first. That's 6 times 6 is 36, and 36 times 11 will just give us this 396 pi. And we can we like to leave pi sometimes because it's an exact amount. If we want to round, we can always plug in that 3.14. Example 2, we've got a cone. This time we have the diameter, which is 6, meaning our radius is going to be 3. We can al also see the height of this is 6. That'll give us a radius of 3, height of 6. Using our cone formula, 1 third pi r squared h, that's going to be 1 third pi times the radius squared times the height. And simplifying that out, 3 times 3 is 9. Uh, that 1 third is going to be dividing by 3, so 1 third times 9 times 6. Uh, that'll give us our final volume of 18 pi. For our third example, the sphere, instead of using pi, uh, just as is, let's estimate using 3.14 and round to the nearest hundredth. That's two spaces. Our sphere has a radius of 7 here, radius of 7, and our formula for a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. In this case, instead of pi, we use that 3.14, our radius to the third power, and then calculating that all out, we would have 7 times 7 times 7, times 3.14, times 4 divided by 3, that's our fraction. Uh, and when we work that out, we're going to end up with a total estimated volume of 1,436.03. For these next two examples, we're actually going to know what the volume is, and we want to find the missing dimension, kind of setting up an equation that we can solve. For this first one, we know a cylinder has a radius of 3 and a volume of 45 pi cubic units. Uh, so basically we know our cylinder has a formula of pi r squared h, we know the radius is 3, and we know the volume is 45 pi. We could do that setting up our, our formula instead of volume. We know our volume is 45 pi. That's going to give us 45 pi equals pi r squared h. We know the radius is 3, so we substitute that in. And then we can work this equation out to solve for h. Uh, doing that, it looks like we'll have 45 pi equals pi times 3 squared, which is 9h. And if we want to solve for h here, I'm going to go ahead and divide by 9 pi, because 9 pi is going to cancel out my pi and my 9. See this? Pi and pi, 9 divided by 9, leaving me with h equals... Here we have 45 divided by 9. 45 divided by 9 is 5. And then a pi and a pi are going to cancel each other out. So we get an answer of a height of 5 units. 
Example 2. A cone has a height of 12 units and a volume of 144 pi cubic units. What is the radius? Well, we know formula for a cone is 1 third pi r squared h. We know the height is 12 and the volume is 144. Substituting in the volume and the height, we end up with this equation. 144 pi equals 1 third pi times r squared times h, which is our height, which is 12. I'm going to simplify this equation out here a little bit. That'll give me 144 pi equals 4 pi r squared. I did 1 third times 12 to get the 4. From here, we can divide by 4 pi to start getting our radius isolated, which is what, what we're wanting to solve for. That'll give us 144 divided by 4 is 36. We can see that these pi's are going to cancel each other out. The 4 and the pi's will cancel each other out. Then we're left with 36 equals r squared. Well, 36 is r squared, so what number squared is going to be 36? And that's going to give us a radius of 6 units. Okay, our last concept here, if we ever want to find the total volume, we basically can use what we know and either multiply or divide depending on if the situation calls for more or less. Let's take a look at a couple examples. An ice cream store has a small cone and a big cone. The big cone has a radius of 4 centimeters, a height of 20 centimeters. The small cone has the same radius, but only half the height. What is the volume of the small cone? So one way is we could find the volume of the big cone here uh, using the formula for a cone and substituting what we know, pi 3.14. Our radius is 4 and our height is 20. From there, we know that the volume for the small cone is going to be half the volume of the big cone. So we can say, hey, let's take that volume of the big cone, multiply that by one half, divide by two, and that'll give us our final volume of the small cone. Now certainly you could have also just said, hey, I know half my height is 10, and use that to find it directly. But the main point here is, if we know a total volume and want a part of it, we can just multiply it by the fraction. Last example, Burger Castle, oh geez, these are making me hungry. Okay, Burger Castle has cups in the shape of a cylinder. Each cup has a radius of 1.5 inches and a height of six inches. They are expecting a party of 30 people. How many cubic inches of soda should they expect to use is if everyone drinks one cup? All right, well, we know it's a cylinder shape, so we're gonna use that formula, pi r squared h. We knew the radius was 1.5, the height was 6, and we're going to look, looks like we're going to multiply that pi as 3.14, and we'll get a volume of 42.39. That's the volume of one Burger Castle cup. We want the volume of 30 Burger Castle cups. So what we can do here is take that volume and multiply it by 30. That's going to be the volume we got here times 30 cups to get a final volume of 1,271.7 cubic inches. All right, I don't know about you, but I could really use an ice cream cone from Burger Castle. So with that said, I hope this video was helpful.